I full disclaimer by the way, which I should probably should have mentioned at the beginning of the video. I never played Fallout 76. I didn't buy it. I didn't look up any videos of it. I just saw all the bad reviews about it, so I know quite a bit about the controversial situation by itself. But I have not participated in Fallout 76, by the way. Avoid it. Don't don't buy it. Or if you hear but that like, like Destiny or not Destiny, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. If you hear that Fallout is not worth it right now. It, maybe it's not. Uh, right. I've, I'm only I've only played for like four hours. So I'm dabbled. like level six. I've played fairly well. I thoroughly in enjoyed what I played, but I'm very shallow into that world, yeah. and I haven't encountered any bugs. Don't just like write it off and say like, "Well, Fallout 76 is a failure. It's never good," because that game was designed to be updated, and that's what those are. Those games are like it's like GTA Online. Mm -hmm. GTA Online today compared to what it was five years ago. See, here's the thing. I hate this argument. Uh, 702. That's the keynote. I hate this argument because the difference between GTA Online and Fallout 76 is that GTA Online isn't a game. GTA Online is a service that is included with GTA 5. You're buying GTA 5 and GTA Online is a bonus. If GTA Online was the only thing you bought on day one, then yes, there would be the exact same complaints you see today. Because the game didn't work at all, okay? It doesn't matter if it's... The reason why we were okay with it is because GTA V, everything else it offered, the campaign and everything, was so good and so enjoyable that we let it slide, and we were even happy enough to even... We were happy to even have the opportunity to play online. Even if it didn't work, there were still other parts of the game. Fallout 76 doesn't deserve this exemption because the game literally doesn't work. It doesn't function. It's not a $60 product unlike GTA 5 is. Have you seen Angry Joe's review of GTA 5? It's a I don't remember what it is. It's like it's like it, I it, I know it got the badass seal of approval. I don't remember what rating it was. It was a really high rating and that was before the online component came out. The point is is that you have to if you're going to make an online mode that doesn't work, you have to have something of substance with it in addition. And he misses this point completely. It's like, like, and if you understand yeah. that, now. if you want to be pissed off, I fucking get it. Like, yeah. if you ordered totally a canvas bag and you got a shitty nylon bag, yeah. that's a reason to be pissed off. Sure. And that's, but that's not a reason to say fuck this company. I'm never going to support them again. People are allowed to make mistakes. Companies are allowed to make mistakes. I don't know if Bethesda's answer to it, which is like, message us if you don't like your nylon bag, and we'll give you five hundred in-game dollars yeah, or whatever like, the fuck it great. is. Yeah, see, here's the thing. What the what Bethesda was doing was actually just kind of scummy. Because they're like, oh, did you not get your nylon bag or whatever? I, I, I'll be honest, I can't really talk about this too much. Because I'm not too familiar with it. I only saw Optimus's video, which I guess I'll leave a link in the description. Just look up Optimus Fallout 76, and you'll probably find the video I'm talking about. Anyways, um, the, they were getting compensated with like $5. And it's basically just a joke. It's like, they're basically saying, all right, we gave you compensation. Now you can't be mad at us anymore. That's basically what they were doing. They're like, hey, we gave you compensation. We gave you five and we gave you five dollars of a compensation for an item that you literally did not get at all what you wanted. So, yeah, clearly people are going to be upset about that. Of like right now, especially is that there's a thousand games and they're all competing for your attention. It's like it's a. It, I, I don't know, like, it comes to the fall every year, and I'm like, I don't know what to play. Like, I, I want to play all these games, I don't have the time. Well, there is... It's a beautiful problem. Like, before I worked here, I was in the situation where I do have to kind of pick a game. Because yeah. I can't afford to buy, like, yeah. all these different games. Exactly. Like, yeah. So, you know, if you pick a game, and then the game turns out to not be great, that sucks. That's like, true. Yeah, that's and there are stuff, systems you know, like, on yeah. Valve, and on Xbox, and at a GameStop in place for you to return that game. And this is what I really this is what really pissed me off about Jeff. This is the number one reason this that little stupid ass remark that Jeff just made is the number one thing that pisses me off the most because it clearly shows that he doesn't know what he's talking about. He clearly hasn't seen all the videos and all the rants of people who are trying to sell Fallout 76 and literally being told, "Have you seen that dude's rant video? Go and watch that Optimus video or go and watch that other dude's video." I think maybe uh, you, I don't remember who else made it, but go and watch that video and you can literally see it was um, Forge Labs. Go and watch Forge Labs video and you can literally see people being rejected for getting their refunds back. People aren't. Here's the thing, Jeff, that you're missing. People aren't getting their refunds, Jeff. You clearly don't know what you're talking about. So shut the hell up. 
This is why everybody's so pissed off in the comments, or at least this is why they should be pissed off in the comments, because this is the w number one thing that bothers me. He, ooh, wow, let's see. Before I freaking flip my laptop, let's go and take a look and see some of the comments. Um, free to play games are fucking Fortnite is free to play. Yeah, People it is. People forget that. Well, Battle Royale mode is. Yeah, but I mean, still. My daughter, without me knowing anything about it, just on her own, 13-year-old kid, was in the Fallout beta and knew how to figure it out and got in and played with her friends and stuff. She was an informed customer and she knew ahead of time that she, like whether she wanted to play Fallout when it came out. She okay, this is once again another dumb principle because betas can be misleading. Things can be really awesome in the beta, but they remove features from the full game, which is what I imagine would happen. Once again, another dumb point Jeff makes because the the problem is is that they you know you can apparently you can't make an informed decision based off of the beta. You know, this the beta doesn't. This is a bad point because the beta doesn't reflect 100% the experience that you're going to get from the full game. It doesn't show you all the content that's going to be in the game. It doesn't show you all the bugs that are going to be in the full game. You know, once again, you know, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot if you buy if you pre-order a game or you buy a game before it actually comes out. I understand you're shooting yourself in the foot. And you should wait for the full game to come out. And if the game doesn't work, that is kind of your fault. But still, that doesn't excuse developers. We're making the game terrible in the first place, especially when you're misleading your customers. Yeah. Like, I read a lot of books and all that stuff, so I haven't had a lot of time to read personally. But, like, when I do finish a book, I don't finish a book and then immediately go, like, now I have to argue with the world about it. <laughs> 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 I just put it on the shelf and I read the next book. Yeah. I think this is probably one of the dumbest things Jeff, Jeff has ever, ever said. You know what's the difference between reading a book and playing a video game? You don't realize after you bought the book that some of the pages were missing. Well, I mean, okay, that's not a good example. Because uh, I'll, I'll admit, if you bought a book and then realize that, like, well, I guess this is actually a pretty good example, right? If you bought a book and some of the pages were missing, you would literally be losing content. You would be losing story. You would be like, wouldn't you go out and be like, hey, I need to fix this, right? You would probably be sitting, you would probably be standing up and be like, okay, this is a problem. I'm going to go and complain about it. And that's a fair thing to complain about. You shouldn't be receiving half a book when you pay for a full book. So that's so that's not a, even a good comparison to make. I There's a good chance I'm the similar age to your parents. <laughs> you know, I might be five years younger than your dad or maybe at the same age as your mom or whatever. And maybe it, maybe it's just an age thing, but I just don't understand. No, what, what it does is like how that, fucking mad people get over the dumbest stuff. At that age, the teenage years, that's when you can bitch and complain about video games and, and this is the world to you. Then you you get older, like like you know Jeff or myself, and you bitch about politics. <laughs> that's that's well, all Jeff, it is. Imagine if Millie made a mistake, and I'm sure, sure as a see, I think this is another thing that kind of annoys me a little bit too. It's like you know, you don't know what you're talking about because you're just a dumb kid. I think that you're really not helping your point here. It's like, in fact, you can't possibly be making your point any worse. You're literally telling your audience that they don't know what you're talking about because you're just kids. I mean, granted, I am putting words into his mouth, and that's not... I'm very much paraphrasing, and that's not quite what he meant, but that's how I felt. That's what I felt like he was trying to convey when he said it. So, you know, take it for what it's worth that he didn't actually say that, but that was my interpretation of it.